Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video. In this video we're gonna go and fight the Necro Dragon now that we have my Merrily at Mythic Plus which is absolutely amazing, fantastic. She's great for Necro Dragon and great for the entire gameplay. If you reach endless game mode then Corrin and Merrily will gain their uh, true damage and true potential that we saw previously before the season starts. Now that we have uh, all of the team for bossing ready, I'm building up the next units which is Arden, Heaven and hopefully Thorin and Aaron we can get copies of them. So we'll do that when we accumulate a little bit of summons. Now our basic level is 312 on our account and 290 on everything else but 300 on two ca three characters. So two more characters to 300 will be reaching that seasonal level that is almost the same as our own levels on our off season so merrily i still need a one uh one tier or one upgrade one level to get her bonus uh in her mythic uh, so we unlock it and we get an increase in 7.5 in her attack i'm missing a little bit but fine we're gonna get it later i did some investments on my corin some investments on my Odi, so we can get them to that plus 10 as well because plus 10 is the most crucial times and of course smoky we get him to plus 10 because he increases his attack and his attack is so much important when he does his cloud now sadly he doesn't do it versus necro dragon so let's go and check out the teams and what i use to get a good uh, relative result now i'm in the top 150 now this can be upgraded if you get a little bit of investment on Marley. plus 15 works on her uh, plus 10 is the optimal way that you want to go with uh, you can use different characters here you can use Cecilia, you can use vala you can use uh if you have mythic plus uh, uh, Rainier, he works perfectly fine with this lineup. Now, I will show you the lineup that I used to achieve this uh, result, which is this. Now, I have Vala at Supreme for me. It means Mythic Plus, and I got her to Supreme by Acorns. I need one more copy for her to get to that Supreme Plus, and then she will be finished, actually, and she will deal even more damage with her Supreme Plus. You're gonna gain extra damages. I think this is the Seasonal, or this is the Supreme, this is the Supreme Plus. It's absolutely fantastic. It, it will help her a lot. Now, if we drop him below 50%, of course, we're gonna defeat him. He's at elite level right now. So we finished difficult too by this team, actually. Absolutely fantastic team. Uh, I'm using Corrin. Corrin will give us some sustainability plus. He will jump from uh, one way to another. Also Vala. Now, if you don't have Vala at Supreme and you have uh, Temesea, use Temesea instead of her. So you can replace her by using Temesea. Temesea works perfectly here. She can tank if you want, but we prefer to put Smokey as a tank because he works even better. Now, our main damage dealers will be uh, Odi, first of all, then Marily, then we will have Corrin, or, or Vala here, then Corrin, because we're using Vala. If we have Temesea here, Corrin will deal more damage than Temesea, but Temesea will sustain and stay longer on the field. So let's go and check it out. Now, I was testing with this uh, Relic, actually, because it increases the attack speed of all allies, increases the attack speed bonus in three. Attack speed, attack speed, and basically you get more HP, a little bit of attack, and some attack speed initially from the start, so it will help you a lot. But with this one, I'm getting the uh, survivability, I'm getting the uh, shields, I'm getting attack, I'm getting life seal, I'm getting increase in buff duration, which is uh, uh, from our Smokey when it's end, he just get it passively. Now, I tested Rainier instead of Vala on uh, putting it on my uh, Marily actually, right here or here or here or whatever you want surrounding her because she's taking the position of the uh, boss and it's not working that fine. And I used Coco, Coco at Legendary Plus, also, she didn't give me the highest value. Maybe at Mythic Plus, she would be awesome. She would be insane here. Uh, I tested uh, Temesea instead of my Vala. I got a little bit uh, less damage. It was the, almost the same, but a little bit less because Vala does incredible amount of damage, especially because she's at Mythic Plus or Supreme. So we're going to test the same. I'm going to show you how it uh, goes and how Corrin is so important for this lineup, actually, to protect your Smokey so he can do his ultimate. Sometimes he doesn't do it if... Corrin is not here. So the main lineup that you want to, the, the three fo most focused units that you we need to keep is OD, Corrin and uh, Marilee here and all of them so should be at Mythic Plus or above and the rest of the team is flexible for you to test. Now of course you can test it with the new character, hype, the new Hypogen, uh, Freisto, but I don't think he works unless he's at least Mythic Plus. So let's go and uh, check this lineup together and check how much 
damage that we can do and as you see everybody changes their position except Odi and Smokey they say and the uh, uh, remaining the same now sometimes your Marley will jump into this pile of smoke and as you see she jumped off sometimes she jumps in which is very bad actually it depends on RNG so you, the more that you try the better that you get a different result and a better score so let's check it out here we're going to the 25% which is really good the optimal thing that I want to go for is the 30% 30% will be absolutely crazy and here we go we're almost there we are almost there and we did get the 30 percent we did get the 30 percent so it gives you the 30 percent now you can change the relics or the artifacts and try to uh, play around them to get to that 40 percent it's a little bit harder for me because i have still two characters are 290 levels maybe 200 uh, at 300 they will tank even more as you see smokey does not deal damage here because he doesn't do the uh, cloud the blue cloud even if you put him in backline and put the enlightening spell for him it will not be that much beneficial or better because he will reach it by the end and he will be dying in the end vala as you see she's uh, the third highest damage dealer and corin is the fourth there's not so much differences but because uh, corin waits some time going back words and saving somebody give them shield and stuff so he doesn't can do continuously attacks but it's great because it's true damage and he's competing with vala vala one of the best units below 50 percent for bosses now you'll see her uh, probably uh with uh bosses in the real world when the boss unlocks i think we have 10 days or less and he will be unlocked so we're gonna test it there uh merrily almost the same damages as odi odi as at supreme plus merrily at mythic plus or at supreme so you see there's no much uh, different uh, difference between their damages it means she shines even better and even more this is what i want to talk especially a necro dragon she's absolutely fantastic here so uh this is your main uh, damage sources now i used also kruger instead of vala he did almost uh, half the damage of my uh, Koran, but it didn't add that much because everything else becomes true damage except him magical damage poison and him magical damage Odi, but he uh, smoky but he doesn't do the cloud so nothing beneficial comes from Kruger so this is why I tell you try to play it more a little bit more offensive and one defensive unit or two defensive unit which are Koran with his survivability mechanics and uh, smoky for his uh, healing now we can test something i wanted to test something instead of all the removing uh, i mean instead of uh corin removing corin and adding somebody else to keep our team surviving and i know that it's crazy because corin is absolutely fantastic here which is adding rainier and keeping vala but adding rainier just uh and doing this so the cloud comes beside smoky at the start now smoky will not be surviving that much or we can do this we can let smoky tank a little bit do it like this put everyone backwards i think this this could be a good play now rainier will tank a little bit until od becomes uh, in front of the boss but i don't think the cloud will hit everybody else yeah i i don't, I don't think so so let's keep it this way can i put od in the front he tanks a little bit maybe and the girls jump around Let's test it this way hopefully this would work i want to test it and check if this works because i don't know i don't know i feel like uh i don't need corin that much if if i can survive with my lineup and keep doing the damage so here we go smokey is tanking now from the boss it's not od until smokey dies then od starts tanking now we don't have the survivability mechanic from corin to save us and here we go we lost our rainier not a big deal hopefully smokey will survive this one I just want him to survive this one he's taking so much damage from the attacks from the he will go now and he did and od is tanking now look how much damage he's taking can we reach the 30 percent also with this lineup if we can that would be really nice actually here we go we still with mary lee dealing damage from behind and od is dealing damage which is good actually od is still tanking and he went bye bye now and 29 percent. so it's almost the same the, the, the thing is, we buffed our Odi for his damages, he tanked a little bit, and Marilee is the one to deal the most damage, not Odi this time, even that with the buff of Rainier. So keep that in mind, you need to play around it. I mean, we can put Rainier on Marilee and check if she deals even more damage. Uh, of course, crit rate is on RNG. Sometimes she does more crit rate, sometimes he does more crit rate. But I found out that with Corin, it's the best strategy for you to go. So here we go. This is the final lineup. I'm not going to play it again. I'm just going to show you how does it look. So uh, I was playing Odi here, uh, Vala here, and Cor Mr. Corin here. 
so uh, the boss will drop the cloud they will jump and change their position he will be up front and chain uh, helping everybody else uh, Odie will say uh, on his own and yeah that was it for this run this is absolutely fantastic now don't forget I, I always do that without going and doing my Dura Stars. Now, when you do your Dura Stars, and I can go to six. I think I went to six with the others. I did go to six with the other ones. So uh, this one, it's the last one. I will finish five, then I'll finish six, and we'll get it. At seven, you're gonna unlock something else. So if you're gonna go to your map, let me show you this in the map. So on our map, there's here, there's the merchant that you can go and, uh, as you see here, so let's go and zoom in more a little bit. Like this do you see this this is the merchant come on where are you here we go the charm merchant this is the uh, the 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 mark for him on the map so if we go to him on the map and check what is he selling you're gonna see that you can sell all your recycled charms via this merchant so you go to him you talk to him make a purchase or whatever now the thing is that you can buy and as you see it if you click on it it tells you clear the seventh floor of the iron wall uh, uh, for the tanks so you can get this and here what does it say the 10th floor so you can get this chippy it's for chippy it's specifically for chippy these ones what do we need for them the 12th floor okay if it's not specific this one is random so you need to progress a little bit and this one it tells you also 12th floor and it will require you to buy these ones so you're gonna exchange these to buy these chests actually here and the other ones are with gold these you can buy with gold the other ones all of them with red so you can uh, uh, and these chests actually you can buy them with this currency which i recommend buy them it's not a loss actually this one is for alsa a full set for alsa this one 90 a full set for our uh uh what's his name soren and this is a full set for fiesto if you want to go and buy it so it's not a problem buying them and it doesn't cost that much and here you can change all of your or we don't need to do that we can do the maximum change it 2000 for these ones so 50 uh, uh every 500 gives you 50 and you need a lot if you're gonna check here you need a lot so save up of all the resources that you can here and buy specific sets i i recommend for you to buy the sets specifically for uh characters such as these ones open in what 10th floor okay the last ones are 10 floors then you go higher and higher these ones are the seventh floor i don't recommend buying them it's i don't know maybe i mean maybe by the end of the <laughs> season we can buy for chippy and hammy but first of all i i recommend highly to buy these ones these ones are for cecia for Marilee, for Odie. these are the best ones for them if you have a vala and you want to go with her you can buy this if you're focusing on pvp you can go for mages because your uh, uh carolina uh, gets these from mages and if you want for corin and kruger you can go and buy the ones for the uh, uh these ones i think these are the warriors and yeah that was it for the video and uh let me know about your runs how you did with the necro dragon if you have a better lineup let me know share it with me so we can share it with everybody else and uh if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't i thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace